we typically, or well, we always use um, C in thus far to get the input from console. I'm going to define four variables and then I'm going to show you um, to get the input from the console in a different manner. We'll have double and let's create a string variable also. Okay, um, so I have four double variables um, and a string variable, my underscore str. So we want to enter the values for the four numbers, A, B, C, D. So C in A, B, C, D. And I'm going to print the sum of the four numbers. Execute. So asking enter the values for the full numbers. So give me a number. Twenty-three. Fifty-seven. Four. Four. Thirty-one. That's what I get. The sum of the four numbers is because I'm missing A plus B plus C plus D. Um, 23, 57, 4, and lastly, one still guessing that what did you get um, back again 23 57. Four thirty one one hundred and fifteen. It's in the corner up there. Of course, you could put another end line if you want. Um, it's one way of guessing inputs, in other words, you're just getting all four of them simultaneously. Another way to do the exact same thing is to do this. Twenty three space fifty seven space four space thirty one. 
you'll still get the same answer. That said, what is the logic behind a C in statement? In terms of getting output from the console. We are going to get an input for the string. Um, enter a simple sentence. Not as they are. And I'm going to print what I got from the input. It's been a while since I used NDL, so I'm going to go with that. Good. Oh, thank you. Save. Control. That's the first part. We know that's easy. Zero, 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 zero. We're going to enter a simple sentence, and Sean was clever, so a simple sentence. Very original. And all I got was A. And what the hell, right? Okay, maybe I have to put the word separately in a separate line, so as a multi line statement. So, A, enter, <laughs> done, right? So, I can't have a space, I can't go multi-line, um, so what worked for numbers where we got individual numbers or numerical inputs is not going to work for strings. Um, here is a thought. Um, could you add three more variables or two more for the other two words and uh, replicate line number 15 with strings and see if that works? Do you follow what I'm saying? So if you create two more string objects, then you can use that to get two more input strings and then with them in the console. So, the easy way to solve the problem is to declare two other variables. Can I declare it right here? Or would it be incorrect to declare two string objects in line number 24? I can, but I like to keep things organized. So, I'll just do it here. I'm going to modify my previous statement that we had originally and well I'll copy paste here put a comment getting words separately
Oops. Good. And we want to print all th three um, words. So the simple sentence you entered is the first word space the second word space the third word If you want, you can put a period too. Be proper. Good. That's the first part. Second part. A simple sentence. We got just A. Didn't work. We even tried typing it in separate lines. Did not work. Now we are in line number 26. That's what's executing. So I'm going to type A simple sentence. Of course, I could have used the full stop here, but I put it in the end. So I'm getting a simple sentence you entered is simple sentence followed by A. So what just happened? You tell me. After common thing, I'm simply going to get the three individual strings. So, A, oops, A, simple sentence. This time, it worked. Last time, it didn't. Down number two. So the way we did it, we created three different uh, variable string variables and then put them all together and printed it out. It's not effective because what if you want to type a sentence with ten, <coughs> ten words? Do you want to create ten different variables? No, silly. Um, there has to be a better approach. So two problems we encountered. First problem, um, use of mul multiple string variables, not effective, too much memory. Second issue, um, when we executed the first bit of code, um, it took just the letter A, whatever that remained in the console, simple sentence, went to our next execution. Um, where we got the three variables my underscore str, my underscore str underscore one, my underscore str underscore two. That resulted in the jumbled um, sentence right there. So, all in all, this is just a garbage way to get input, um, especially if it is a string. So, let me comment all of this so that we don't keep 
executing them. Enter a creative sentence in English. Or colors, do you want to do Spanish? I don't know what you're going to say, but as long as it's appropriate, we're okay. Oh, you know? So English doesn't matter. Whatever sentence, as long as it's creative. Um, That's good enough. And I'm going to get the input. Can't use C in, but what I can use is get line. So you do get line. The first argument is the function that you're using because there are other things that you can do with get line. So I'm going to put C in followed by. Um, the name of the variable, my SDR, the creative sentence you entered is. So um, I forgot the STD. So STD here, STD for scene. Also, come again. I can't hear you. Probably not. I, I think get line part should work um, on its own. But let's go ahead and run it. It's been a while since I did this. Ah, oh, it ran. Who wants to give me a creative sentence? Sure. You've got to spell it out or, let's say, colors louder. Uh, I'll try to pass color green as possible. How is it Spanish? No, no, I said I was kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, am I losing my mind? <laughs> um, I will try to pass. What do you say? Calc three. three. Calculus three. Next semester. Worked. Right? Um, let me put STD and L over here. Jack, did it work? That's one way of doing it. Now, whatever approach that CN used in terms of getting separate inputs will work with GetLine. The advantage of GetLine is GetLine could use a delimiter. We will talk about that next time. Um, Going to run. This time I enter would simply give me the letter I because the moment you hit enter it assumes that we are done. Right? So You can do I space 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 and will try to pass calculus three next semester. What is the output that you expect to get? Whatever we typed will pop up. Good.
So the space there is not an issue. Um, the line enter or the key press is a problem because the moment I press enter, if I did I enter, the code ends. So the purpose of get line is to get the entire line from a console as long as it's one full line. When you hit enter, you're doing a line break. It goes to the next line. So the purpose of get line is to avoid this over here which worked for numbers, from getting numbers from the console, but doesn't work for a string. Can you tell me why before we end? It worked for numbers, but it doesn't work with strings. Why? So when we did A, B, C, D, and entered numbers, we entered 23, enter, 57, enter, 4, enter, 31, enter, worked. When we did space, it worked, but doesn't work with strings, even with multiple variables. Why? Down number one. In a way, yes. It is a method here also. I'll do that next time. Uh, excuse me, it's an object which has methods. We'll do it next time. Jake. Uh, can't hear you. Jordan, can you hear Jake over there? He said words are assigned to string variables, so you can't get a whole sentence. Youth. Um, <laughs> uh, words are assigned as a string variable, so you can't get the whole sentence. Well, what causes the problem? The problem that we did? Yes, the space. With numbers, when we entered numbers, the space is what separated one variable from another variable. However, space is actually a string, right? So it will recognize that space as a string, and which is why it wouldn't work. Good? Okay.